Did you know you don't need a sewing machine in order to upcycle? Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Did you know you don't need a sewing machine in order to upcycle? Yes, it is true. Today, I'm gonna share with you eight ways that you can upcycle without a sewing machine. Let's do it. Number one. Cutting. Did you know that if you know how to use a pair of scissors, you can upcycle? Yes. Here, I'll show you an example of just simple cropping t-shirts. If you can use a pair of scissors, you can crop a t-shirt. That's what I consider upcycling. Technically, upcycling is more taking one thing and turning it into something else. But we're gonna talk about this in a general terms, like as in like refashion. Taking your clothes and repurposing them to make yourself love them again and make them something that you'll wear and love again. You can also just take a pair of scissors and cut your jeans. Like right here, this is a super trendy pair of jeans that I saw, I believe they're by Balenciaga. Um, I put an example of the jeans and how much they cost right here and you can see that all I did was go to the thrift store and bring home some Gloria Vanderbilt jeans cut them on the side throw them in the washing machine and there you go and here I had a sweater and I wanted that super crop sweater look and all I did was take my scissors cut it across cut a curve throw that in the washing machine to kind of set the edges and that's it like seriously I did not do anything to these edges because they're it's a tightly woven sweater and it's good and I absolutely love it all right the second way that you can upcycle without a sewing machine is fabric glue yes there is a whole array of different types of fabric glue now so it's not just the regular kind like back in the day aliens came out with fabric glue and everybody was using one style now they have um fabric glue for stretchy materials they have washable fabric glue that's the one that's the one i get it's called the okay to wash it and that is my favorite one because i don't want to not be able to wash my clothes or throw them in the dryer so with a little bit of fabric glue i was able to take a blazer that i had a hard time closing not you know it wasn't super small on me but you know those blazers that you just can't quite close and you just want to give them some new life i was able to add this little dicky into the inside of it so now it just looks like i have on a shirt and a blazer and with fabric glue, I was able to take some shoulder pads and glue them to the inside of a t-shirt and make that amazing shoulder pad t-shirt that's going around. I really, really like these, you know, shoulder pads, not everybody loves them, but just things like this, especially if you see them like on these fast fashion sites, they're very easy to do yourself with just a little creativity and some fabric glue. And here you can see me adding piping to a sweater. I was inspired by this sweater that I saw on Pinterest. So all I did was take some piping and some fabric glue, glue it right on the sweater, wait for it to dry. And that was it. I love, love, love this sweater. And now it has a new life. All right, so number three is grommets. Once you learn how to put grommets on your clothes, you'll be adding grommets to everything. Grommets is one of my like cool and edgy ways to upcycle without my sewing machine. Here, I had two different hoodies and I wanted to make that whole half and half hoodie look without sewing. And so all I did was cut both of them in half, turn them under, add grommets all along the front and the back, lace it up with some shoestrings, and there you go. Like that is just so, just such a sick way to upcycle something. And this jacket, this one was with grommets and chains. Of course, I added a little bleach. We'll talk about that later. But with the grommets and the chains, giving it that just extra added dimension, this thing is unique. You're never going to see it on anybody else. And it's just grommets and chains. And then here with your old jeans or the jean leg piece that you cut off when you cut off to make shorts, that's been going around. People have been going to Walmart and cutting off their jeans to make the perfect pair of jean cut off shorts. What are you guys gonna do with the legs? Make a matching top. Just go get you some grommets. I'll put a link in the description for, for all of these things, but especially for my favorite grommet kit, it comes with a little tool and hammer in some grommets on the side, cut the bandana shape 
and you got a top to match your cutoff short. All right, number four is one that you guys have been loving that I shared on TikTok lately, and it is the t-shirt yarn lacing and tying. I have a set of three t-shirts that I did, scissors only and a safety pin, and all you do is cut the shirts. Right here, my first one, this orange one, cut the top right underneath the arms and fold it under, add some little snips along the edge, cut an extra piece, make t-shirt yarn. T-shirt yarn is just when you, you know when a t-shirt is cut and you make just a little piece of it, pull it and it makes yarn. You can do a ton of things with this stuff. And so all I did was weave it through, tied it around my neck. You could tie it all kinds of ways and you get a top. Another way of doing it is just to add the t-shirt yarn in a different place. So now you have one of those kind of milkmaid tops with a little peplum at the bottom. That peplum could be as long or as short as you want. That's what I I love about upcycling you can make it how you want it not how somebody else says that you should dress but how you want it how you feel comfortable what makes you feel amazing so yes I love 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 this and my last one was this ringer tee that I decided to just add a ruffle at the bottom so I just cut it off I was gonna crop it anyway but I was like how can I add a little something something to this t-shirt to give it some dimension and so I just added a ruffle at the bottom using the exact same method and now not only can I wear it wide but I can just pull the string and I could wear it cinched as well so the versatility with all of these things is just off the charts and especially this one. all right number five is actually no secret to anybody who likes to refashion their clothes and they don't have a sewing machine and it's tying I have been seeing the fashion girlies on Instagram cutting up going to the thrift store just grabbing those vintage two pieces and tying them in different ways to just look just amazing so here is an example I took some silk scarves and some old purse handles and made some purses out of them. These are super cute and I love them because once you don't want it to be a purse, just untie it and wear it as a scarf, do whatever you want to tie it. You know, I'll tie my hair, use them for all different type of purposes, purposes. And then when I want it to be a bag again, just tie it back up again. And here's another example for me where I took this scarf. You guys have been seeing that scarf looking top that it just looked like it's tied. So I just went to the thrift store and grabbed a long scarf and just tied it creatively. And I got the top, the same look that everybody else has been wearing, but it's just a $5 scarf from the thrift store. All right, so number six is actually one of my favorite no sew ways to upcycle and it's using Heat and Bond. Heat and Bond is a product that is, it allows you to affix or to kind of glue two pieces of fabric together and it's, but it's not glue, you just do it with an iron. Yes, just with an iron. So I absolutely love it because of like how fast you can do the projects. So this one would be perfect for like anything that you are trying to hem really quickly. So like you see here, I have a blazer and I want it to be cropped. Crop blazers are just so in right now. All I did was cut, crop the blazer, cut a piece of the, it's either called heat and bond or hem tape, cut a piece of the hem tape, fold everything under, iron it, put the hem tape in between, iron it, and there you go i still have that blazer and that was a couple years ago i still have that blazer still hanging on and especially with blazers you don't wash them over and over and over and over and over again um most of the time you would dry clean them or i dry clean at home and it has held up so i love it and then also these shorts i wanted to make the jacobins like super high shorts and so i had these high-waisted red pants and i was like oh i think this would be the perfect pair of pants to do it so all i did was crop them turn Turn them up and add the hem tape and now I have a similar pair of shorts and lastly you can use heat and bond to add patches to your clothes not everything is all about changing the form of something sometimes just adding appliques or adding patches like you see me do here especially for this whole prep aesthetic that we have going on right now is just like just enough to just set the outfit off and just make that piece something special in your wardrobe it certainly did for this sweater so definitely try it all right so number seven is changing the color of your garments using either bleach or dye right here i had an adidas t-shirt of course i cropped it just because sometimes that's what i do 
but it was just plain black and I added some bleach splashes to it and I absolutely love how that changed it. I've done that several times, just take t-shirts, add bleach, um, and it just makes them look so unique. It's a way to tie dye without dye. So yeah, I love that. And there's a lot of things that at the thrift store in your closet that already have color that you can add that element that's going to transform them and make them different for you. Now, another thing you can do is take something that is white and you can add dye. This is something I've been trying trying more recently. I had these jeans and I really wanted a colored pair of carpenter jeans. And so I decided to bleach them, take out the color and then make them green. So that's what we did here. Love this color green. But if you're looking for something more vibrant, I've recently learned how to get that like super vibrant color right here. I took these pieces and I really actually wanted lavender, but um, when you do it on the stove top, you can get super vibrant colors. I'm super excited. I'm going to try fuchsia next. I really want to dye something fuchsia because now that I know I've got the process right, then I know I can get just that bright, bright color. So I'm looking forward to that. So stay tuned. And number eight is safety pins. And you saw before when we did those t-shirts with the t-shirt yarn, we did use safety pins for that. And I use safety pins for a lot of things. But what I'm talking about specifically is using safety pins as kind of like a temporary situation. So like if if you just decided that you wanted something cinched in, pulled a different way, you can use safety pins. Right here, I use safety pins to take a pair of just like the straight leg track pants and turn them into joggers. All I did was open up the hem just a little bit, insert some elastic with a safety pin, but then I just closed it with the safety pin. You will never believe, even through washing, how long this will last and nobody will ever know. Nobody will ever know that you're being held together by safety pins. A good safety pin can go a long way, let me tell you. And that's it. Eight ways to upcycle without a sewing machine. You guys definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't say this, but absolutely every thing that I have showed you, there is a full tutorial for it. And the link is in the description box below. So definitely check those out if you're interested and definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. We are doing a series about basic upcycling and sewing skills. If you are interested in taking your upcycling, refashion, clothing making to the next level, definitely hit that subscribe button because that's what we are doing as well as doing all of the amazing and creative projects that I love to do. So yeah, I have definitely other videos for you to watch right here and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.